Um, first, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you, brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, the first statement I'm going to make in truth in the spirit is that the um, letter by the Apostle Paul to the Church of Rome was to the Church of Rome, all right, which the word church means to, to be called out. And the ones who were called out in Rome were the Israelites, okay, Israelites of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, specifically of the elect, predetermined to receive the gospel and believe and be in Yahweh Shai, okay? Those were the ones who comprised the church, not heathens in terms of the seed of the heathens, not those who, um, according to the flesh, are descendants of heathens or other nations, but Israelites. Now, some of those Israelites knew they were Israelites, and some of them didn't know. They were in ignorance. Or they were ignorant of that fact. Nevertheless, through um, predestination, they received the gospel through the Spirit and were delivered because the Lord knoweth his sheep. Now, Romans 1 and 1, and I want to read down to a point. It says, Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of the Most High. All right, which the good news is that the there is repentance for the nation of Israel, there is life. There is deliverance. That's the good news. And part of that good news, part and parcel of that is the fall of our enemies, our persecutors, beginning with the so-called white men, the Edomites, Esau Edom, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. See, everything we, we preach, that's why people got a problem when we, we quote the so-called Old Testament. Because everything we preach has to has to be and is in agreement with prophecy of old. All right, concerning his son Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord, which is made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Yeah, the seed of David, because Yahweh Shai, his father Joseph, comes from the direct lineage of of King David. All right. And that cuts all that Virgin Mary madness that the Catholic Church has been pushing. All right. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. By whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Right. Because the, the Israelites would be scattered among all the nations. So we would receive this truth among those nations, whether we be scattered. Okay? Which is a precursor to, to the, the time when through the Spirit, through Yahweh Shai, we shall be gathered together with him. Alright? It says, Among whom are ye also the called of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach? Alright? Now the called of of, of um, Yahweh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are Israelites. That's in the scriptures. The, the called of the Father are Israel. Now, the called of Yahweh Shai is the elect of Israel, because only the sheep shall hear the voice. The elect. To all that be in Rome, now, the all that be in Rome ain't talking about everyone in Rome. It's talking about the believers. The elect. To all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, called to be saints, grace to you, and peace from the Most High, our Father, and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, because this gospel is the uh, uh, um, covenant of peace renewed with the nation of Israel. Because the, the Lord has been at war with us, pursuing to live at the 26th chapter. The scripture says that if we were to move contrary unto the Heavenly Father by breaking his laws, the Lord would move contrary to us. So, in fact, we've been at war with the Heavenly Father. And the Lord's been winning. <laughs> All right. Because the Lord don't lose. Okay. But now through Yahweh Shai, the Lord is making peace. Yahweh Shai has reconciled Israel according to what is written in the book of Luke. He has reconciled Israel. Okay. To the father. 
He's brought peace. He's negotiated, mediated a better covenant of peace. For the Most High is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make men. Oh, it's like here. I First, I thank my God through Yahweh Shammashayak for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. And that's the point I really wanted to, to bring up because I recently come back from Rome. And there was a time when Rome, for all intents and purposes, except, you know, uh, for the far, far east. All right, because the Roman Empire really only got as far as Afghanistan. So except for the far, farthest east and except for the west, when we're talking about the bulk of the world, we're talking about Europe, Africa, uh, Asia Minor. Rome was the center of of the, the 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 major part of the world in those days. Rome was. So you can imagine that whatever happened in Rome resonated throughout the whole empire, throughout the whole world. So so when when you when 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 um, Jews and also Hellenes, Israelites who would uh, um, gone into the way of being Greeks, gone into the way of being um, Latin, were coming together and professing Yahweh Shai in Rome openly in the chief places. You better believe that uh, that that word, that thing, that phenomenon, 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 <laughs> however you pronounce it, man, uh, spread even more fervently throughout the world, as it is written here. It says, it says that um, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. Okay. And that's that's happening all over again. Like the, you got the apostles and elders in York. You'd be surprised the amount of tourists and businessmen and so forth that have seen and heard the Hebrew Israelites in New York and have gone back to where they come from and told people about it. And the same thing was happening in Rome back then, because that was the chief city of the entire world at the time, you know, except for the, the, the Americas and the far, far east for the majority of the world. Okay, but it, the scripture says, man, and let's get this. And this is this is going to be an exhortation now. Um, the Lord said, that which I tell you in secret. Meaning what? When you study in the scriptures, when you are um, you, you, um, watching the videos and you're learning, the Lord's opening up your understanding, all right, to, to, to this word. The, the Lord is an unction on you to go out there. And um, push uh, push it out there. It's lucky. Give me a second. All right. This is Matthew ten and twenty seven. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the air, that preach ye upon the housetops. What does that mean? That means. We're supposed to go out there and profess our faith, man. And that's what we do when we make these videos. And more importantly, we go out there on the streets. All right. And the chief concourses, man, throughout the whole world and prof and profess and confess the name of Yahweh Shai and his word and his will to the world. Okay. Till his coming. So if that. I exhort you to do so, shalom.